Chesterfield is one of the fastest growing suburbs in St. Louis County, and it's one of the most popular areas for people moving to St. Louis. They're building a lot of new stuff in Chesterfield, and they are not slowing down anytime soon. They're building offices, industrial space, houses, condos, townhomes, a new sports facility, and a giant new production studio. There's a lot going on. So whether you live in Chesterfield and you're wondering what's going on in your neck of the woods, or you're moving here and you wanna see what it's gonna look like and what Chesterfield is turning into, we're talking about the industrial space, their production studio, the dozen new subdivisions going up, and we're getting another Starbucks. Who doesn't love that? So we're talking about all of it. Let's get right to it. Hey, welcome to the channel. My name is Jacob Pystrup. And real quick, if you are moving into one of these developments or you're interested in the houses, condos, or townhomes going into Chesterfield, send us an email or send us a text. My team and I are licensed realtors. We do a lot of work in this part of Chesterfield with all the builders, all these developments. There's a lot going on, especially if you're interested in new construction. We would love to represent you. Right off the bat, Wild Horse Village. That's the big one. This is the one everyone is talking about. Everyone is asking questions. It's massive. Wild Horse Village, you're looking at half a billion dollars going into the middle of Chesterfield. This is the new downtown Chesterfield. And it's almost like this big mystery in Chesterfield because not all the details have been released. They're going in with single family houses, condos, townhomes, apartments, and a boatload of office space and retail space right in the middle of Chesterfield. If you're very curious, definitely check out the other videos I have specifically on Wild Horse Village because this is huge. There are a bunch of details to get into with what's going on, the inside information I'm sure you're wondering about. Right off the bat, McKelvey is gonna be coming out with 35 detached houses that are about to go up for sale. Fisher, same thing, but they're gonna have 72 townhomes in Wild Horse Village. You're also looking at over a hundred luxury condos going in. And this is a game changer because Chesterfield really does not have any luxury condos. So Wild Horse Village is gonna introduce that to Chesterfield. And then, like I said, apartments, townhomes for rent, office space, retail, there's a lot, a lot of stuff going on. And we've already had a decent number of people reaching out either about McKelvey, Fisher, or these condos who've seen the videos because this is gonna be massive. And the one thing I love about it, since I live right down the street, just watching it happen. You know what I mean? Like every time I drive by, something's different. You get to watch it happen right in front of you. Like they take a piece of dirt, they put in the infrastructure, the roads, the sidewalks. They've got the core elevator towers going up right now. They're building the apartment complex around it. So a lot of cool stuff going on. I think that just watching the transformation is the coolest part of the process. And there's a lot of questions floating around about what's actually happening. Now, it is under construction. So this is gonna be a game changer for Chesterfield. It's gonna be massive, but that's not the only one. It's the biggest, but there is a lot more going on in Chesterfield. Pfizer, also right here in the middle of Chesterfield. Their facility is massive and they're adding another 300,000 square feet with an addition to it. So they're bringing some more jobs and they're putting more into research and development in the middle of Chesterfield. Chesterfield Sports Complex. This is under construction right now as we speak. It's gonna be around 88,000 square feet of a new gymnasium facility. They're gonna use this for camps, tournaments, athletic events, local sports teams, a lot of stuff going on with this new sports, athletic, and fitness facility. And that is set to open sometime around early 2023. Now this one's pretty cool, Gateway Studios. This is a $150 million project. It's gonna be 330,000 square feet of studio space for TV, music, and media production in Chesterfield. And supposedly, when it's all said and done, it's gonna be the largest media facility of its kind in the US. So that's pretty neat. Now, every time I talk about Chesterfield in one of my videos, I rave about how it just has absolutely everything. It is super exciting. I didn't even realize that having a media production studio that big was a big deal, but it's a big deal and it's coming to Chesterfield. Now, this isn't exactly new, but if you've been in Chesterfield, if you live here, 
you've probably seen The District. So this used to be Tobin Prestige Outlets. It was bought by the Steinberg Group, rebranded, and now it's The District. So now it is a hub for entertainment. You got The Factory, main event. There's Top Golf right there. There's the Marriott Hotel right there. Shopping, eating, like all sorts of entertainment. That's what they're going for here. They're making it like this kind of walkable entertainment hub in the middle of Chesterfield. So it's right in the valley. If you've seen it, the district, that's you know what they've added a lot to to make it this entertainment facility, which is really, really cool. Now, you've also got several different projects for office and industrial space in the area of the other office and industrial facilities around Chesterfield Airport Road. So if you look at it on the map, it's in that same area as a bunch of other industrial and office space right next to the airport. They're just adding to it. Chesterfield keeps growing, it keeps expanding. They're just adding to it with more office space, more industrial and more warehouses. So the list just keeps going. Now, let's talk about some houses. There are several new subdivisions, either under construction or under review, that should be coming out with some more information over the next year or so. I already mentioned Wild Horse Village. You're gonna have a bunch of residential units there, but that's not it. So one is gonna be Boone's Ridge. So this is gonna be 36 houses by McBride and Claymont Development. So this is approved and it's gonna actually connect to Burr Oaks, which was just built by McKelvey. So where you have Burr Oaks, brand new subdivision on Wild Horse Creek Road, towards the back, it's gonna extend and then connect to Boone's Ridge, which is gonna be another 36 houses. And just down the street from that, you got more stuff by McBride. So McBride is also gonna be coming out with the estates at Fire Rock. So this is under review. And in this one, you're looking at 35 single family houses. It's basically right next to Boone's Ridge. So McBride is gonna be big in this area, right along Wild Horse Creek Road. Now there's also a smaller one called Wild Horse Bluffs. So this is gonna be four houses, high end luxury houses, right there on Wild Horse Creek Road, up there looking out over the valley, the airport, it's gonna be right there next to Boone's Ridge. Now, all three of these are happening on this piece of land on Wild Horse Creek Road called the Bowtie. And it is a piece of land that they're all working on redeveloping with the city of Chesterfield. Now, they've gotta go through all the hoops of the zoning requirements, and they've also gotta get approval from the airport right next to it because they need to make sure they are in line with the requirements and whatnot for building houses basically right next to the airport. And if you're seriously interested in any of these neighborhoods, either the Bluffs or any of the ones by McBride, send us an email or a text because these details are literally always changing with the review process because as long as they're not yet approved, there are still changes being made as far as specs, pricing, time frame, the details of what's being built and where. For the most part, it sounds like there's gonna be the Boone's Ridge, Estates at Fire Rock, and then the Wild Horse Bluffs, but the details can still change in between. Now, the next one is, again, a smaller but luxury development called Krishna Estates, and this is gonna be three single-family houses, high-end, luxury, and can you guess where it's gonna go? You guessed it, Wild Horse Creek Road, except this one's gonna be a little bit further down Wild Horse Creek Road, kind of on the corner of Wild Horse Creek Road and Kerr's Mill. Same idea, very similar as Wild Horse Bluffs, a small little development, luxury homes, beautiful in every way. I think these will start at around 1.8 million. Another development on the smaller side under review is gonna be the estates at Conway. So this is another six luxury homes proposed for a smaller subdivision right off Conway Road. Now, Lombardo is also trying to break in with some new development in Chesterfield because I mean, these days, who isn't? So Lombardo has a proposed 13 house development off of Shetler. And if it gets approved, this is gonna be called the Legends at Shetler Point. And it's pretty cool because currently, Lombardo is not doing a ton in St. Louis County. They do way more in St. Charles County. So if it gets approved and everything goes according to plan, it's gonna be a great opportunity if you want a Lombardo house in Chesterfield. And they're targeting these houses at the 55 plus community with these single level, almost villas, close together, smaller lots. But the idea is it's all on one level. 
maintenance free, there's not a ton of yard space, and all of the yard work, maintenance, and landscaping is gonna be included in your HOA. And this is a cool thing. A couple builders are doing this around St. Louis, kind of these detached villas with marketed as low maintenance, easy living, all on one floor. So that's the idea here. Now, Lombardo is actually trying to build this on the exact same lot where KU Development tried to get a project approved back in 2016. So back then, KU Development was trying to build a 280 unit apartment complex and boy, did the community shut that down. They did not like that. So I think in this case, if this gets approved, the neighbors around this will be a lot happier knowing it's gonna be 13 houses in their backyard, not a giant new apartment complex, which is understandable. I get that. So that'll be really cool by Lombardo. Very nice options as long as you're okay with the possibility of highway noise because this is gonna be very close to 64. That's the only downside to it. So you can tell there's a lot of stuff going on in Chesterfield, lots of developments. Really the biggest in size right now for single family houses is 35 and 36 homes. And the rest you'll see is a bunch of these kind of smaller subdivisions on the luxury side of price, fewer houses, smaller in scale, so nothing huge. But like I said, there is a lot going on for residential, commercial, and everything in between. Wild Horse Village is gonna be a game changer. So we're looking forward to that. Again, if you are moving to the area or if you are looking at any of these new development projects, send us an email, send us a text if you want help with that process. New construction is a lot of fun. My team and I absolutely love it and we'd love to help you with that process. So thank you for watching, I appreciate it. Hope you take care, have a phenomenal day and I'll catch you in the next video right here on the Living St. Louis channel.